Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and this is, of course, a um, video to talk about that uh, new feature where we have the accented colors and the new start menu feel and look with the tiles that now actually follow the background color of your theme in Windows. So, of course, if you're on the May 2020 update, I posted a video to explain how to tweak the registry and get these new colors because the May 2020 update and the October 2020 update are technically the same version. It's just that the October 2020 update kind of tweaked and switched on some of the features. Now, if you are either, uh, you have done that uh, registry tweak or if you are moving to uh, the October 2020 update before everybody else using the little trick that I gave, um, what you are going to have is to go and also change a few settings. Make sure that some of the settings are enabled. Some of you are here, but don't see this new style of start menu, which is the tiles are uh, different and following the accented color. And it's because you need to activate a few little things. You need to go to your settings app go into personalization in the personalization tab you will have colors so make sure that you turn on transparency effects that you have a check mark and automatically pick an accent color from my background and that at the bottom here you apply them to start taskbar in action center tile bars and window borders if you can't do that, make yourself and go into the light theme. And once you're in the light theme, check it out. You should be able to check these um, options and the colors. So after that happens, everything, and including the windows, the text in your settings app and so on, everything follows the accented color. And of course, your start menu tiles also follow the accented colors. So you see here it has the same general color feel than my background, which is kind of orange. So depending on the background picture you have, these tiles and this accented color changes. It also enables you to have, instead of the big blue solid tiles, which I got to say was kind of boring to have, you have tiles that even though they're still squares, and by the way, they are still live tiles. As you see here at the bottom, you can still see the live tiles. Uh, even the OneNote is actually moving as a live tile right now. Um, what happens is that um, the square around it now will follow the accented color and feel more like it's part and transparent within and with the uh, background of your um, computer. So this is just a quick note because a lot of you are have done either the, uh, the the changes or are on the October 2020 update and don't still see yet the changes for the rest the tiles the different pictures you see the different icons within the tiles uh, the new icons show up by updating the apps from the Microsoft Store so go to the Microsoft Store go into the upper right in the three horizontal dots, downloads and updates. Make sure you click get updates and that everything is updated on your uh, apps. This will give you the new icons at the same time for some of the apps that have them. And last but not least, remember that if you are in the 2019 or earlier versions of Windows 10, that's 1909, 1903, 1909, you cannot have this uh, new background. It works only, the, the tweak that I posted works only on the May 2020 update. And of course it's enabled automatically once you move to the October 2020 update. Once again, if you wanna move there, um, there's a video that I posted this week on how to get to the release preview and get the latest uh, version of the October 2020 update, which is pretty much finished. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.